Welcome back viewers. In today's lecture, we are going to learn about flag bits and program status word register. Before that, if you haven't subscribed my channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon. So you should never miss an update. First of all, uh, we will see that the program status word register. It also it is also referred as a flag register and it has a particular bit size which is 8 bit and uh, but uh, 6 bits of them are used the 4 are uh, like carry, auxiliary carry, parity and overflow these are uh, these are called conditional flags meaning that the, they indicate some conditions that result after an instruction was executed the program status word 3 and uh, program status word 4 are designed as RS0 and RS1 and are used to change the bank and the other two remaining bits are user defined it means that the user can define them for a particular condition here you can see that uh, CY or uh, uh, PSW7 which is a carry flag here you can see this is the carry flag and it is the auxiliary carry flag or it is also referred as PSW6 and uh, this is the PSW5 so the PSW5 uh, is available to the user for general purpose and similarly the RS1 uh, it is the PSW4 or register bank selector it is uh, used for uh, bit 1 and uh, this is the re register bank uh, selector for bit 0 it is the PSW3 and similarly uh, this is for the uh, the PSW2 is for overflow flag here you can see this is for overflow flag and uh, the PSW1 is again a user defined bit and the last uh, or the PSW0 is parity flag here you can see that uh, the RS1, RS0 uh, which are the register bank selectors and uh, these are the register banks uh, here you can see that uh, both uh, register 0 is selected uh, register bank 0 is selected so the address will be from uh, 00 hexadecimal to 007 hexadecimal number similarly if the RS1 or register bank selector bit is 0 so uh, the next is uh, if rs0 is equal to 1 so the register bank that will be selected will be 1 and the address will be from 08 hexadecimal to 0f hexadecimal number similarly uh, these are the particular in particular instructions that affect the flag bits uh, which uh, we will discuss using an example here you can see that uh, let's consider we have example show the status of uh, cy ac these and p flags uh, after the addition of 38 h and 2 f hexadecimal number into following instruction so for that we have this instruction move 38 into accumulator register and add 2 f into the value of the accumulator register so if we uh, find the addition or the uh, output so it will be equal to this 67 uh, I have discussed this in uh, detail uh, in my previous video lecture so I will put the link in the description so you should go and check out that so here you can see that uh, since there is no carry beyond D7 so the carry uh, CY will be equal to 0 and similarly uh, there is a carry from D3 to D4 so uh, the AC will be 1 similarly the parity or uh, parity flag will be uh, as we can say the number of uh, we have to uh, calculate the number of zeros and uh, ones it is totally dependent on that uh, here the accumulator has odd numbers so now uh, sorry odd number of ones so the parity will be 1 Similarly, in this example, you can see show that the status of CY, AC, and P flag 
after the addition of 9c hexadecimal number and 64 hexadecimal number into following instruction so for that the instruction will be move 9c or copy 9c into accumulator register and add 64 hexadecimal number into accumulator's value so uh, again here the sum will be equal to this so here you can see that after this there will be a particular uh, carry which is beyond the uh, bit uh, so that uh, bit 7 so the c y will be 1 and uh, since there is again a carry from d3 to d4 so again a c will be 1 and the p since here you can see that uh, the number of 1 is uh, you can say there, there are uh, even number of ones it is 0 so you can see there is no one so the p will uh, p flag will be 0 thanks for watching